All right, this is the micro ball, and uh, it's six inches in diameter, and it's made from well one of these polystyrene plates as the uh, main construction material. And the thing about this one is, it's got a quadcopter board on it, and I've never seen one of these done before. I've, I know that uh, helicopters can be changed um, to differential thrust kind of steering, where one motor goes faster than the other to allow it to turn left and right. But I've never seen a quadcopter done. And what happened was, around about uh, December, around Christmas, I got one of these Florian FX10s, and they are incredibly tiny. But one big problem is, these things normally arrive with a busted motor. One of the four is normally binding. And when I first set off with this, it uh, flew straight off to the right, hit the wall, and uh, I thought that's what caused the binding. But many people are reporting that the motors, the four millimeter tiny motors, have got problems with them. So this thing never did fly right, and uh, so I thought, what can I do with the board? Well, as you can see here, I've uh, thinking about the heat might be a component too. I've put um, yeah, some tin foil over these two. But what I'd need to do to get a differential thrust to work is I'd have to defeat the gyro because with the gyro going, um, your motors will run depending on the position, left, right, up, and down of the uh, machine that's being flown. Now, by fortune of fortunes, an accident. Um, when I was when I found out that this little chip here, uh, I think it's an N540, it's called. Um, when I was trying to connect the wire, the lead that seemed to go to the main processor, the arm processor on the other side, unfortunately, I had desoldered a tiny little capacitor. Um, I'd also cut the track there, and the damn thing wouldn't bind to the controller. It seemed to all be broken. But um, what I did was, I reconnected the, the wire, but I connected to one side of the now missing capacitor on the right hand side. Well the thing decided to bind up and worked without the gyro input. So that's, that's basically what happened to make this thing uh, able to fly. So, speaking of which, I'll show it flying now.